So what I learned in my own experience is that there are two types of people. Those who can metabolize carbohydrate very effectively and they will not get ill when they eat carbohydrates. And a group like myself who are profoundly carbohydrate resistant. And for us, carbohydrates are a real challenge because they affect our metabolism in a negative way. To tell whether you're carbohydrate resistant, I think is first to, to look at your body weight and see if you're putting on weight with age, particularly if you're eating a high carbohydrate diet. I go so far to say you should stand in front of the mirror sideways and if your belly protrudes, then you're carbohydrate intolerant. If your belly is concave, that's fine. And the reason, the difference is a fat liver. The fat liver, which is one of the beginning signs of carbohydrate intolerance. So basically, if you went to the doctor and you wanted to find out whether you're carbohydrate intolerant, he would measure your fasting glucose insulin and your gly glycosylated hemoglobin or HbA1c. And if any of those are elevated, that's an indication that you're carbohydrate intolerant. Other measures are you have high triglyceride levels and low HDL cholesterol levels. And those are all related because people with this condition are unable to store carbohydrate and they turn it into fat and that is triglycerides. And as a consequence, their triglycerides go up and as a secondary consequence, the HDL cholesterol comes down. The paleo diet that I follow proposes that fats are good for you and that carbohydrates are toxic. Whereas most nutritional advice since 1977 has been the opposite. It said that carbohydrate is good for you and fat is wrong. And I've looked at all the evidence and it's very clear to me that fat is healthy and it's the carbohydrate that is the main cause of our ill health. Yes, there definitely are fats that are ill, unhealthy, and those are the ones that we've been told to eat. They are the, the hydrogenated fats that you find in margarines, and they're the trans fats, which are also found in margarines and in shortening and in many of the baked foods that we eat. And they're also the polyunsaturated omega-6 oils, like corn oil and soya and other sunflower oil, for example. Those are very bad. But there are some very good oils, and those are the omega-3 oils, which come from fish oil, they come from olive, avocados, flaxseed oil. And what we have to do is increase our omega-3 intake, if we're going to increase our fat intake, and reduce the omega-6s. So I personally eat a lot of omega-3s in the forms of fish. I supplement with omega-3 oils and also with flaxseed oil, which is the, the strongest source of omega-3 oils.